this video will again apply the distributive property then solve the equation and we'll do uh, example two and um, these type of uh, problems okay. so please write down this the first one which we'll do together negative seven times two y minus three equals zero negative seven times two y minus three equals zero okay I hope you wrote it down I'm gonna go over it now um, what you've got to do is you've got to apply the distributive property first now there's a negative 7 a negative 7 beside that parenthesis what does that mean so we've got to multiply everything by negative 7 okay so what's negative 7 times positive 2? What is negative 7 times positive 2? So that's negative 14, right? And we have a y, so it's negative 14y, right? Now you've got to think of this. And without, like some students at this point, they love to go, oh, that's a negative, a negative, you know, 7 times 3, and all this sort of stuff. But I think the easiest thing of all here, and, and sometimes they like to, you know, go plus negative and all this stuff. Well, I, mean, I guess that's okay. But, but like, all you have to think about is, look, this is a negative times a negative, isn't it? What does that give? What's the sign? What is a negative times a negative? What is a negative times a negative? It's a positive. And so, negative 7 times negative 3 is positive what? Positive. 21. So you don't have to mess around with, with any signs. I mean, it's just a negative times a negative plus 21. And on the right hand side, we have 0. Okay. So I just want to have a, just a quick practice on that because that's the part that, that you guys might get tripped up on, or some students will anyway. If you have negative 2 times x minus 5y minus z minus, or let's say plus um, p. Okay, what will this become? Just go ahead and just do that one example. Negative two times on the side of your page. Negative two times x minus five y minus z plus p. Write it down and get the answer. So you're just practicing using the distributive property with a negative number. Okay, you're practicing using the distributive property with a negative number. Okay, the negative two needs to be multiplied by everything. And you don't have to, like you just think, is it negative times positive or is it negative times negative? So you just go negative 2 times x gives me what? Negative 2 times x? Negative 2x. What's negative 2 times negative 5y? That's a negative times a negative, so it has to be plus. And so just write down plus. That's all you got to do, just write down plus. So what's 2 times 5? 10, isn't it? 10y. So it's negative times negative plus 2 times 5, 10, y, right? What's negative 2 times negative z? Negative 2 times negative z, what's that? Negative 2 times negative z? That's a plus 2z, isn't it? Now what's negative 2 times plus p? Negative 2 times positive p. Negative 2 times positive p is negative 2p, right? So you're just thinking I'm multiplying by a negative, what do I do, right? Um, just give you another one quickly for practice. Negative 3 times um, negative x plus y minus uh, 4z. Quickly get the answer to that. What's negative 3 times negative x plus y minus 4z? Have you got it? Press pause if you need more time. So again, we're just taking a negative 3 and we're timesing it by everything inside the parenthesis, right? Oop. So negative 3 times negative x plus 3x. Negative 3 times, neg times positive y, what'd you get? That's a negative times a positive. That's negative 3y. Negative 3 times negative 4z. That's a negative times a negative, which is positive 3 4 is 12 z okay so 3x minus 3y plus 12 z right anyhow negative times negative makes positive can you solve it from here press pause and solve this equation from here 
So y is being times by 14 and then 21 is being added. So you got to subtract the 21 first of all, right? What happens next? Well, 21 minus 21 is 0. You have negative 14y equals negative 21. Now what? You've got to divide by what? A negative 14, because y has been multiplied by a negative 14. So divide both sides by negative 14. What do you get? And you've got to put your fraction in lowest terms, remember. So on the left, we have a negative over negative. That's just plus plus. And 14 over 14 is 1. So that's basically 1y, right? Equals. And here we have negative over negative makes plus plus, or positive. 21 over 14. I'll just write that down for fun. Um, so, But we've got to put that in lowest terms, don't we? So put that in lowest terms. What do you get? So 1y is just y, and 21 over 14 in, in lowest terms is? 7 goes into both of them, right? 7 into 14, 7 into 21, what, what happens? 7 into 14, 2 times, 7 into 21, 3 times. So y equals 3 over 2, right? So write this one down and do it yourself. It's negative 3 times 4t minus 1 equals 0. Negative 3 times 4t minus 1 equals 0. Press pause, do the whole thing yourself, and then check the video for the answer. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to go over it now. So what happens is we multiply negative 3. Apply the distributive property first. So negative 3 gets multiplied in. Negative 3 times 4t gives negative 12t. Negative 3 times negative 1 gives what? Now that's a negative times a negative. This is the point. This is the part. I hope you got. That's a plus 3. Did you all get plus 3? Hopefully here we got a plus 3. Because it's negative 3 times negative 1 gives a plus 3. Okay. So if you got that part, you hope you're able to finish it from here. So please finish the equation from here. Press pause and keep going. Okay, I hope you tried it. I'm going to go for it now. Subtract 3 from both sides and we get a negative 12t equals negative 3. And then what? t has been multiplied by negative 12, so we divide by negative 12 on both sides. And that leaves us with what? Write down the answer. And again, I'm just going to do this in a couple of steps. See, that's a negative over negative, which is positive. 12 over 12 is 1, and we have a t. This guy is negative over negative, which makes positive 3 twelfths. But we're not in lowest terms yet, so we've got to keep going, right? Now, positive 1t is just t, right? 3 twelfths makes what? Write down the answer. Of course, you might have got the answer faster than me without using this step, but I just like to put in all the steps just so we can clearly see what's going on. 3 to 3 goes once, 3 to 12 goes 4 times, so we have 1 quarter. t equals 1 quarter. Okay.